guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be blow drying my hair with the Revlon blow dryer brush. This is the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner that I, ha that I have already used on my hair. So right now what I'm doing is finger detangling my hair. This is freshly washed hair. I'm finger detangling, you know, just to kind of get some of the kinks out before I go back through it with the dimming brush. I am going to use the dimming brush before I use the blow dryer brush just to make sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled and I don't have to really snatch it through once I'm using the blow dryer brush. So I am going to take this small section and part it into another smaller section and then I'm going to apply my heat protectant. This is the IC Fantasy Heat Protectant Serum and I like to use this one because it, because it is like really thick and um, I feel like for 4C hair, Thicker heat protectants work better than like a spritz or like a spray. So this is the Revlon blow dryer brush. It comes with three different temperatures on it, a cool, a low heat, and a high heat. I blow dry my hair on the low heat because the cool is kind of like an air dry, which doesn't stretch my hair. So you will see that as I blow dry my hair, I go over it several times. Um, I put my hand on top of it just to like give it more of an enclosed uh, stretch, I guess. More to, just to help it blow dry better by making sure I get the ends. Now you will see I do go through my hair um, several times. I use this blow dryer brush on my hair about once a month. So I know that no matter how many times well, not necessarily, no matter how many times. I know that I can go over my hair several times and not get heat damage. So this is how straight my hair comes out. Now, if I had a different texture of hair, this may be like super straight. But for 4C natural hair, this is actually pretty straight. So what I do after I have blow dried each section, I just twist it up and then clip it away that way it doesn't like interfere with the other hair that I still need to blow dry. If you want me to get close to you just tell me what to do tell me what to do if you want me to take over, just give me the green light, just give me the green light. If you want me to get close to you, just tell me what to do, tell me what to do. If you want me to take over, just give me the green light, just give me a sign, just give me the green light. this is the finished product I can comb straight through my hair well it's a little thick in the roots but that's just how my hair is but I can comb through it pretty well I'm doing jumbo twists next so this is the perfect amount of straightness and it does not need to be any straighter so if you do have 4C hair I strongly recommend getting this blow dryer brush because it makes wash day so much faster if you are planning to do a protective style right after Versus having to wait for your hair to air dry or to dry in braids or dry in bands or knots or whatever it is that you have your hair like. The blow dryer brush helps really well. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've used the blow dryer brush. Subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.